Kwa hiyo tunapozungumzia cathode lens where are they produced? Zinakuwa produced kwenye cathode lens tube ambao tunaita CRT. CRT that is the cathode lens tube. Cathode lens tube maana yake hapa ndipo kuna kuwepo na production of cathode lens. Now we say cathode lens are produced in cathode lens tube that is CRT. The cathode lens tube is a vacuum tube contains an electron gun. Kwa maana hiyo this cathode lens zinakuwa produced kwenye chombo ambacho kinaitwa cathode ray tube. Na hii cathode ray tube maana yake ndio palala ambapo tunaweza kukata tukapata mkondo wa electrons ambao unatirika kutoka upande mmoja kwenda upande mwingine. Na hii ndio tunaita cathode ray tube. Kwa hiki ni kifaa ambacho kinatengenezwa maalum kwa kuweza kuproduce vitu ambavyo tunaita cathode rays. And that is why we say cathode cathode rays are producing cathode ray tube that is CRT. The cathode ray tube consists of it is a vacuum tube containing of an electron gun. This electron gun ni cathode pamoja na anode. For correction electron gun with a source of electrons. Kwa cathode and anode with a source of electrons. Kwa hiyo lazima tuwe na chanzo cha electron. Where do you obtain electrons? Kwa sababu in the absence of the electron we cannot talk about the cathode rays. Kwa maana hiyo rays zinatokea maana yake rays ni miale. Kwa miale ya electrons inatokea iwapo tu tutakuepo na electron. In the absence of the electrons we cannot talk what we call it the cathode rays. And that is why we say the cathode ray tube is a vacuum tube contains an electron gun. Electron gun, a electron gun ni cathode pamoja na an anode. Because the anode and the cathode in the correction we call them what we call them electron gun. Kwa tunaziita electron gun kama zinaungana. Kwa maana hiyo mkusanyiko wa cathode na anode kwa pamoja tunaita electron gun. Kwa maana hiyo CRT lazima iwe na electron gun. Maana yake lazima iwe na cathode na anode with a source of electrons ikiwa na chanzo cha electron. Lakini kingine lazima kuwepo na fluorescent screen. Maana yake the presence of the fluorescent screen it must be there and that is what we call the components of the what we call it cathode ray tube. Kwa CRT inakuwa na fluorescent screen, inakuwa na cathode, inakuwa na anode alafu hiyo electron gun ndo cathode and anode. Kwa correction of the cathode and anode we call it electron electron gun. Kwa maana hiyo lazima pawepo ambapo tutapata electrons na tukishapata mahali ambapo tutapata electrons tunaanza kujiuliza zile electrons za endage paka zinaenda kwenye phase and screen lakini this is what we can say and therefore the cathode ray tube is a vacuum tube containing an electron gun that is the cathode and the anode with a source of electrons there must be a source of electron and also a fluorescent screen and therefore these parts have the ability to accelerate and deflect the electron beam. Beam is a correction of electrons. Beam is a correction of rays. Beam is a correction of rays. Now, if now rays are collected in such a way that they are moving in the same line, they are moving in the same line, they are moving in the specific direction, we call it a beam. Now, a beam is just because can be accelerated and can be deflected by the presence of these two parts, these different parts of the CRT. Kwa mwana yo, wepo wa hizi sehemu za CRT, do inawezesha sasa, kwa kikisha kwamba, tunaongeza speed ya electron, how tunaweza kufanya deflection. Deflection to the light, deflection, horizontal deflection, au vertical deflection. Na hini matokeo ya kwamba, tuna hizi taxi, ambazo tuna cathode, tuna anode, tuna source of electron, tuna fluorescent screen. Because these parts have the internal and external means to accelerate and deflect the electron beam. Because tuna posema beam, beam is the correction of rays. Manake mkusanyi kwa miale, na hapa tunazungumzia electron rays. Because tuna pokuwa tuna electron Lay, ni moja lakini zikiwepo correction ndio tunatengeneza electron rays ambazo ndio zinatengeneza beam beam is the correction of rays 
kwa maana hiyo tayari lazima tuwe katika mwelekeo mmoja kwa zinaposonga mwelekeo mmoja kama tulipoelezea mwanzo there must be a specific direction na hiyo kazi inawezeshwa tu in the presence of electron gun carbon and and also there must be a source of electron to be directed to the fluorescent spin ambapo mbele hapa tajaribu kujadili zaidi kwamba kila parts of ya ya CRT ina kazi yake na kwa nini zinakuwa directed kuja hapa na zingine zikuwa directed kuja hapa na kuna nini tunapokuwa na horizontal na vertical hiyo sababu tunaangalia kwa this electron beam that is used to form an image in the light in the emitted from the fluorescent screen kwa maana hiyo the presence of electron beam ambayo inakuwa accelerated na deflected ndio inayowezesha sasa kupa, kupatikana kwa image ambayo tunaweza kuitumia wataalamu aisa kwenye screen kwenye television tunapoiona taswira hapa ni matokeo ya hivi vitu vyote vinavyofanya kazi mpaka vinakuja kwa screen yangu ikihalifika vertical utaona kuna mistari na tatiza kwenye screen lakini haioneshi chochote ni kwa sababu uhusiano kati ya vertical na horizontal umekufa aisa x plate imekufa au y plate imekufa ambapo tunaziona moja baada ya nyingine and then the single electron beam can be processed a single electron beam can be processed in such a way that to display moving pictures moving picture natural colors manake moving picture natural colors ndo video sasa ambayo tunaziona manake hii moving picture in natural colors kwa electron beam ndio inayosababisha sasa tuweze kuona picha kwenye television au tuweze kuona picha kwenye x-ray machines tunapokuwa tunaangalia kwa x-ray machines nakuja kuonesha picha hapa ni kutokana na kwamba kuna kuwepo na vitu ambavyo vinaanzia na hii ndio simple diagram of CRT kwa simple diagram of CRT ni kwamba kuna kuwepo na filaments filament pamoja na carbon maana yake filament anakuwa heated in such a way na heating ya huyo hapa inakuwa approximated kwenye temperature wa 800 degrees celsius kwa temperature ya nani ukifanya heating ya filament maana yake utaproduce uta, uta, utaongeza kinetic energy kwa huyo kwa ukiweka kinetic energy kwa huyo maana yake electron ambao watakuwa kwenye kwenye kwenye, kwenye filament watakuwa given out wakiwa given out wataenda kwenye surrounding wakienda kwenye surrounding kwa sababu sasa hizi ndo utaproduce kitu ambacho kinaitwa cathode ukiproduce cathode sasa hii ni inakuwa tayari ni negative sasa ukiwa na negative tunahitaji kuivuta ndo maana hapa sasa tunaweka accelerating anode kwa huyo accelerating anode kwa sababu huyo ambaye anakuwa produced hapa ni negative anode ambayo ni positive maana yake like charges wana repel na unlike charges wana attract kwa maana hiyo huyo ambaye amekuwa produce hapa negative alafu hapa tuna, tunaweka positive ukiweka positive kiasi kwamba huyo atavutwa na ndio maana inaitwa accelerating anode inaivuta hizi inavuta hizi cathode rays kupita hapa maana yake inatengeneza electron beam hii electron beam inaenda sasa kumbuka huyo hapa accelerating anode amevuta hizi hapa cathode rays kutoka hapa akisha azivuta maana yake zimekuwa produced hapa akizivuta anafanya accelerating anaziongezea speed akiziongezea speed sasa ndio zinakuja hapa zikipita hapa ndo tutaona mahali ambapo tunasema y plates kuna x plates ambapo diffraction ya huyu na huyu kila mmoja ana kazi yake halafu huyu naye ana kazi yake na huyu hapa ambaye fluorescent screen anakuwa coated kwa hiyo coated coated kwa nini inakuwa coated sababu ni kwamba itakapofika hapa coated yapi inasababisha sasa ili image ili iweze kutokea light ina emit light inapogonga hapa ambapo sasa ndo tunachukua tuangalie kazi ya kila mmoja ambapo hii hapa ni simple diagram of CRT ambapo inakuwa na filaments ambao ni cathode halafu inakuwa na y plate na x plate halafu inakuepo na electron beam inakuepo na phosphor coated fluorescent screen halafu na vitu vingine ambapo sasa hapa tuanze kuangalia moja baada ya nyingine nini kazi ya cathode nini kazi ya anode nini kazi ya horizontal diffraction plates na nini kazi ya vertical diffraction plates na nini kazi ya fluorescent screen kwa ngoja tuangalie moja baada